Okay, hey guys, um, this is Lilith Evernight, and I've just been going through some crazy situations in my life, and um, it, it's just insane. Before I get this reading started, um, I've just had some crazy situations with my neighbors, with my family members ever since yeah I like to rock different hairstyles you know and some people are like why are you wearing a wig you know um you shouldn't wear it because if you have dreads and I understand that but I do wear my dreads for spiritual reasons but I also wear them for aesthetic reasons you know for physical you know beauty reasons if that's the right term um you know what I mean uh, anyway, and then having somebody um, that is special to my heart, you know, come in and, you know, you know, be the person that they are. And, you know, even though some things may be cute and beautiful and sweet and whatever, um, there are some things that make it toxic sometimes so anyway besides that let me just get to the reading this is just a divine masculine channeled reading i am just being an, uh, an intuitive reader and i think i'll just um talk about you know other topics on other videos on this channel this channel is pretty much based on you know the spiritual community and um, art any uh, you know I'm an artist I write music I paint a little and I do tarot as I talk about spiritual topics so to sum it all up it's just kind of like art and spirituality but mostly you know you know as you see you know I got my music and they got my tarot that, you know, I'm a witchy woman. Um, so it's a little artsy and spiritual. So anyway, uh, but yeah, this is a tarot reading. So if you guys are interested in um, getting some tarot readings done, uh, um, if you have a few questions, you can put the comments in the sections below. And if you want to get a free reading, just let me know. I will be doing free readings too. Um, and let me know your feedback. I just would love to um, have serious people. Um, you know, help me. You don't even have to pay me right now. Like, it's not even about money when it comes to every single thing. But when it comes to my readings, you know, I think it would be a great thing to benefit for the both. So, anyway, um, yeah, that was all that I had to say on that part. Hopefully, I have enough space for my camera. But, yeah, anyways, back to the topic. I know one of my subscribers, uh, if you're still subscribed to me, um, I will, I can, you know, you know, I'll maybe... If you guys are interested in my smudge sticks, that would also be a great thing too, you know. Um, I would say, you know, maybe like, you know, three for six dollars, three each for six dollars. That's, you know, they smell really divine and three for six dollars, right? You know, or, you know, let me know what you would like to know about these smudge sticks too. If you are interested, um, I might do a video on smudging. So anyway, that is about it. Um, and maybe you can get a free jawbone. I don't know. I'm just kidding. So, or maybe you want it. I don't know. Um, anyway, let me get to the questions. So the question is that I'm going to pull out for the divine masculine energy is I'm just going to light i'm just gonna talk to you guys while i shuffle the cards real quick and um i might put the time step below when this reading is done 
So I'm going to try to be quick in this. Um, what was the question? What is it that you have to say to the divine masculine? Um, so if you are a divine masculine and you are watching, what is the message for the divine masculine? What is it that, you know, spirit, God, God, as the universe, whatever you believe in, in that way, source, what is the message for the divine masculine right now? I'm going to pull out uh, these cards just because I love this deck. My Moonology deck. So, yeah, I was just um, organizing in the back. Sorry, yeah, I was organizing in the back, but whatever. Um, I don't know, I just noticed. Anyway, um, Spirit, what is the message for the Divine Masculine? Um, what card should I pull out? Um, I'm getting... Let's see. This is a non-judgmental reading, so I'm not just going to be judgmental towards the Divine Masculine during my own journey, but let's just see whatever Spirit wants to say more than what I want to say. And yeah, there we go. What is it that you have to say to the Divine Masculine Spirit? What is the message for the Divine Masculine? For the Divine Masculine. A time for healing. I don't know if you can see that. Ah, okay. So this is a time for healing. What I get, this is the Balsamic Moon. And what is in the back of the card? Um, I wish I can show you guys what my okay there you go okay so divine masculine it is a time for healing so maybe you have been going through whatever you have been going through i'm getting maybe you have a work overload oh, you've been working a lot or you've been very drained for whatever reason i also heard that it was a uh, Mercury retrograde, so maybe the moon phases have been affecting you or this energy shifts Certain energy shifts have been affecting you uh, Maybe you're not in union with your twin but This is a time divine masculine to bring healing or for the both it could be for the divine feminine this is a time for the divine feminine to heal from whatever you've been going through with your divine masculine so if you guys are on and off or if you guys are on a rocky situation well then that is the time to heal so i'm gonna ask the divine masculine um or ask for the Divine Masculine, what else can I get for the message for the Divine Masculine? What is it that, what is it that Spirit has to say? Everything is in perfect balance. So as you look within, I'm also getting as within, so without. Um, and I see a, I see a, a turkey vulture there right and the turkey vulture is like a represents a representation of catharsis it's a cathartic moment so maybe this has probably been an emotional intense moment for you and your whether with or maybe you're the divine masculine and you need the healing and you need the balancing of maybe you know balance your chakras and 
This is a time to balance your chakras. And this is a time to do shadow work shadow work um and i see the thorns on her head so it's kind of like her consciousness um and i also think of like christ consciousness or some sort of divine consciousness that may be needed for this time to have that balance and to have that healing and i get green so something with like this card is green so it's like your heart chakra needs healing your heart chakra needs healing as well. And um, just know that everything is in perfect balance when you are in that consciousness and when you are looking within. And the vulture is also a bird that cleanses. It's a bird that brings, um, I would even bring like, like even like any sort of healing, whether it's spiritual healing, it can represent even physical healing. It can represent any forms, any like types of healing and cleansing that you may need. It purges out energies that are no longer needed. Um, and it that's the way that it heals the earth. Um, the earth. Because the earth needs to, you know, get rid of the junk. And like what I mean by that is like when you have rain or when you see car crash on the side of the street you need something to clean that and those are what the vultures do they clean the crap that's like on the side of the road and all of that so um yeah what else do they do they're also uh very beautiful birds but they're kind of more like a unique beauty but not really like they're 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 mystical majestic you know kind of animal sorry this lighting i don't know it's just the lighting yeah so um i know that this i'm looking at this sweater and i bought this the other day and i thought it was just really cute but anyway um i kind of look like a gypsy which i wasn't really going for but whatever um yeah so you know divine masculine this is a time for healing i'm feeling like sad for whatever reason so maybe you've been feeling sad and maybe a little depressed and maybe this is a time that you need to introspect and even time to um give yourself some meditation and meditate and contemplate in everything eight is a number uh, a powerful number so maybe this is a powerful time for you to um, really look within and see what had happened in the journey and to see what you need to change and to get rid of all the negative energies that are also not around you but also within you and be in alignment you know and maybe even ascend um, i'm getting that as well and um to bring more self-love and to just bring more love as within and so without um, and I see the clouds, so this is a time to like really be in your mind and really pay attention to your thoughts and pay attention to your thoughts as you meditate, as you meditate and see where you're getting the messages from the universe, especially when you're meditating and especially when you look into your dreams. As you look into your dreams, the dreams will also give you messages as well. So this is a time for healing and meditation and contemplation and to be in a higher consciousness of your mind, Divine Masculine. And if this is for the Divine Feminine, it can also resonate for both sides. It's more like a mirror effect because, you know, you could be like a twin, you know, twin flame, you know, twins are like each other's mirrors. So it can also, you know, be the reflection for the Divine Feminine as well. But if you have been going through problems with your divine masculine or feminine, this is the reason why you probably need to do that. It's probably because I said that kind of wrong. But this is a reason this is a good chance to to really heal that. To really heal those energies that you do not need, do not need. Align yourself and do the shadow work. And really just, you know, 
tap inside of yourself introspect look at the card um the hermit card and see the the pot the upright meaning of it and that would be a great also a great meaning for what you need to be doing okay so is there anything else um I'm getting changing faces this card keeps coming out but it's reversed it's a beautiful card um but it's reversed um changing faces which is something that I had to do a little bit today I got a little inspired by this card actually today and this card represents um, when you are feeling down or when you're feeling some sort of negative way especially if it's negative this is a time to kind of get out of your comfort zone and like um, do things that are a little bit different, you know, like be a little unpredictable and like sometimes, you know, go change your hair, go cut your hair, go color your hair, go get crazy hair color, go get blue hair, go get pink hair. I don't know. Go do your makeup, go get a tattoo, um, go change your outfit, like do something especially when you're not in a good energy you want to change your energy and and really shift that and maybe you haven't been doing that maybe you haven't been looking out for yourself maybe you haven't really been loving yourself maybe you haven't been doing nice things for yourself and maybe you have not um really been trying to change the energy you probably haven't been trying to change the energy divine masculine especially like and there is raven and then there is hawk a white hawk and then white represents like a new beginning like it's clarity it's innocence it's purity it's protection and then there's black which is also protection and it holds an energy um but they're both beautiful like i love this card one of my favorite cards um but anyway i was gonna say though you see that, like, she has black one, she has a raven, and she has a hawk. So, the raven it represents, you know, maybe you feel like, not all, this may not resonate with all, but maybe you feel like you know you're a good person, right? You know that you're, you know you're, you're trying to change, and you're trying to, you, you know that you're trying to be, or you want, you know, it doesn't matter. You know that there's parts of you that are trying. Let's just say that. There's parts of you, there's sides of you that are trying. But you know that you're a good person, but sometimes it's okay to just feel what you got to feel. If you feel like fear, if you feel like anger, if you feel negative emotions, it's okay to like feel that. And I think maybe it's something that you are changing faces about. You, when you feel an emotion or feel something that makes you uncomfortable you may tend to mask it or put on that tough guy face or tough girl face you know divine feminine or masculine but this is t more to the divine masculine um and uh yeah this is not a time to do that this is a time to look within and face your shadows and also like Play with your shadows in a way kind of like sometimes you know be a little bit more outgoing you know than other days be a little bit more open be a little bit more don't be afraid to be rejected don't be afraid to feel like you can't let your guard down don't be afraid to feel like you got to put on a face so it could fit society's standards, so it could fit your standards, so it could fit your families, your friends, your lovers, whatever standards. Just be real. Okay? So that's it, like, on that question. So, um, you know, don't put on different faces. Yeah. And the raven also represents, you know that you can be a good person. You know that you are, you know, most of you are decent people. And, not to be mean, but, like, I don't know everybody, you know, but, you know what I mean. You know, most that watch knows, you know, if you're meant to watch this, you know, this is just good for good intentions and, you know, good spirits and, you know, all that. But anyway, um, 
yeah so let me uh get on to the next one so what i'm saying is that don't be afraid to just feel don't be afraid to just feel even if it makes you uncomfortable even even if it makes you uncomfortable and you feel that somebody's gonna judge you and you will be surprised who will still be there to um let you be and let you heal and let you be within let you look within you'll be surprised who will let you heal from that and what in the unit what will let you heal from that um all right so um number two is what was this union about anyway between you know the divine masculine what was the purpose those who are watching this video to know about their divine masculine and their per and yeah to know about their divine masculine um and those who were just watching and were drawn what was the purpose of their union what was the purpose of the union between the divine masculine and the divine feminine spirit angels ancestors goddess thank you it's a lot of cards. <laughs> I'm an intuitive read. Wow. Okay. Um, let's. I'm gonna try to skim these, but let's just um, do that anyway. I'm going. It's just like anyway. So I was talking about my neighbors and stuff. Like they're just. There's something else, like, I, I don't know, my neighbors, my family, it's just when you're in the spiritual journey, it does things to people, you know, these, you gotta watch out for these entities, so, you know, like, like I said before, this is not a battle between, um, flesh and blood, but this is principalities, you know, and, you know, these entities really get to people, especially when they know that you're awake, so anyway... Uh, maybe that was a message for some of you guys, but, you know, take whatever resonates. This is just a little chit-chat for a moment. Okay, so what was the reason for the union? Um, maybe to take off the mask. Maybe to gain more. Maybe to realize that not all glitters is gold. When you were with this person, your twin, you realize that not all glitters is gold. Or maybe... That some things are worth more than gold. Some things are just more worth more than gold. And when you are with your twin, you may feel at home. You may like, you may feel that this person, you've known this person for such a long time. You may feel like you had a past life connection with this person. You may have felt like you just, you know, felt like um, this person was a part of your tribe. This person maybe lives with you not only at home maybe not at home but this person lives with you in every part you know like you guys share that soul to soul connection that mind to mind connection you feel one with this person you feel like you don't know why you may not know why because maybe that person shows that sometimes not all glitters is gold and maybe you had to ask why you had to ask why and, um, you know, why did I have this connection with this person? And I'm getting, it's probably because you guys, it, there was like, um, unfinished business. So maybe some sort of soul contract, a soul contract. That's what I'm getting. So, you know, like if those who believe in reincarnation, soul contract or something, this is something spiritual. It was like a divine spiritual kind of hidden knowledge that, you know, only you two share when it comes to, you know, um, being a twin flame. What if that means, you know, being a twin flame, being a divine masculine or feminine, it's like one of those sacred things that you have to like question and really do your research on. It's more like, almost like, I don't wanna say biblical, but it's like, you know, how do I explain it? It's a part of the spiritual realm. 
That's what I mean. Like, it's a part of the spiritual realm, but like, I think twin flames are kind of like, or you know, those kind of relationships are more like um, those things that you still have to question, even when you're with the person. You learn a lot of things about that. You learn a lot about yourself and the journey, and you learn. You just learn. It's just a learning experience. Learner. It's a, the teacher student, and vice versa. You sometimes you're the student, sometimes they're the teacher, sometimes you're the teacher, and sometimes they're the student. So that's what I'm getting with that energy. Um, and you realize that not everything is a fairy tale. Not everything has to be. A, you don't always have to believe in fairy tales and fantasies because. You can still take off the mask and still see the gold in it, if that makes sense. You can still take off the mask, you can still take off the rose-colored glasses, and still see the roses. So that is like, why you have this connection with this person. It's because you guys took something that was almost unreal it's it's like you guys are you guys complete each other it's like a missing piece of a symphony you are the other person's half that's what i'm getting you were another part of them that was almost that made um, that can almost make beautiful music all right so that is for question number two um I'm thinking what deck would deck. Okay. What is the overall important message for the divine masculine? What's or just for both? What is the overall general message? I'm just gonna uh work with my angels and ancestors deck. Um or actually Let's just go with this one and then let's just be done. Um, I'm going to use my angels and ancestors deck. I set the intention that whatever is gained from the lessons learned from this tool will be dedicated to the growth and of all beings in all places. And guardians of the four corners, mother in the earth, father in the sky, angels, ancestors, sacred ones, I call on you and welcome you here now. As I close the session off once more, I'm just going to do that. All right. Thank you, ancestors. And thank you, angels. Um, thank you for listening to me. And thank you for hearing my reading. I hear you guys, or I'm, I want to hear you guys, but I see you guys. You're coming through the sunlight. So, um, what is the overall important message for the divine masculine and the divine feminine? What is the overall general important message here for those who are drawn to this reading? Again. Track down your fears and your desires. And then it says shift your perception and retreat. Oh my God. Look at that. OMG. I told you guys. I knew it. Thank you, God. Thank you, Goddess. Thank you, Angels Ancestors. They're here. They love this deck. They really do. Um, so, what did I say, Divine Masculine? You need to retreat hermit card i said hermit card and the hermit came out see the angels and the ancestors are here right now i just called on them and they're like we're here so they're telling you you need that you need to retreat you need to meditate and you need to look within and then you need to shift your per perception so if you've been insecure if anybody here has been insecure in a relationship shift your perception whether the situation is positive or negative. What I mean is, is if you feel that you're being naive or whatever, look within and see why. 
and you know maybe you are maybe those people who are saying you are maybe they're a little right maybe you never know but you never know you got to follow your heart the voice of your soul you got to follow you know like a part of what you know don't do anything toxic but you know that's why you got to retreat and look within and find those answers so you don't you know just make silly decisions just because of you know emotions but have a balance between your emotions and your heart so i mean your emotions in your head your head and your heart track down your fears and your desires divine masculine there's a lot of divine masculine energy here three men one two and three as you can see that very masculine energy so um like I said, this is the same message for the like for the divine uh, feminine, divine masculine. This is a time to not be petty, do not be grimy, do not you know be you know someone with you know class when they fight. If that makes sense, like be graceful in your movements and actions, and it may not just be with aggression or you know maybe arguments that you've been going through, or just you know maybe jealousy. I don't know, maybe jealous partners or whatever it may be don't use petty emotions don't don't do anything you don't want you know you don't want stupid situations to come out of this um just you know meditate contemplate retreat you know be a hermit for a while and be introspective and you know um have a um pray i'm getting pray but also use action you know fight when you have to fight and pray when you have to pray um but in the way of you know in the most mature way track down your fears and desires let go of your insecurities and heal and your desires look within and see where your desires are leading you see where your desires are leading you to are they leading you to something good or something worse and and be able to have good per, uh, a good perception um shift your perception don't don't um let anyone insult your intelligence and don't let anyone you know don't and you know don't let don't allow your intelligence to be insulted but at the same time if you are wrong you know um don't you know if you are wrong about certain situations you know be graceful about it you know and also be gentle you know like um let your guard down let your guard down and be graceful in movement and action so that is it divine masculines and also those who are divine feminines who have been watching please subscribe to my youtube channel and help me with this algorithm because youtube is tripping and yeah um if you guys are interested in my smudge sticks or anything else um or of reading um let me know in comments and blessed be and please subscribe